Charterman, 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 Cool, Shardimus Prime. Oh, yeah, indeed, Shardimus Prime. Oh, you're, you're a good guy, Shardimus Prime. Oh, thank you, Shardimus Prime. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Select review on the Marvel Select Captain America figure. This is the movie figure that was just released uh, by Diamond Select. And yeah, you can tell right there, getting him to hold his shield like that is actually pretty hard. But uh, this is a damn cool figure. I'm really, really happy to get him. I was actually really looking forward to the Red Skull figure more than anything, but this figure is has actually really impressed the hell. Marvel Select actually are limited to how much articulation they can give their figures. I didn't know about this until I was at Comic-Con. Sentry and I met the, the guy who, who does these. I think his name was Todd. Marvel only allows them to add certain number of points of articulation, 16, and they can only release nine figures a year, I believe. I like his articulation. The sculpt is amazing. The paint apps are just off the hook, man. This is a very, very cool figure. I do have a couple of gripes, one of them being that his head does look look a little big to me but aside from that I mean this thing is just really really awesome the head sculpt is fantastic I love how this strap looks right here the helmet looks great I think the likeness of the face is really well done I love this black wash or it's a dark blue over the lighter blue I like how on the star right here it's actually not just white but it is got like a silver pearlized kind of paint to it I love how this mesh looks over here there's actually some gray in the white areas. His gloves look great, man. Still, oh, there's a little bit of silver right there for some reason. But just very well done. Love the buckles on this. Even these parts right here. It's got the butt pockets. There's his gun, which I'll get into later. Actually, I can just do it right now. The gun is just very, very cool. And the gun does fit nicely into his hand. What I also like is that the finger goes, you know, into this trigger hole right there. So that's very cool. And it fits right into the holster perfectly. I like this uh, maroonish color that they've chosen. Very, very nice. It's not really brown. It's not really red. It's right in between. Very cool. Love how the boots came out. Damn. The buckles on the boots look fantastic. He has hole pegs right there. Peg holes, whatever. Very, very nice looking figure. Just all around awesome. Like how the back came out right here. Very, very cool. Like I said, he has very good articulation. His head moves up really, really far. I haven't seen a figure, a Marvel Select figure have this good art head articulation. That is very, very cool. So it's on a hinge. It doesn't look down as much as it does up. But I prefer that they be able to look up more, you know, more cool action poses. Move side to side. He has uh, arm joints, right, shoulder joints that move forward and out. He has the joint that swivels side to side on the elbow and it moves up and down. He has wrist uh, joint articulation right here. And this side is where he holds his gun and his shield, which is one of the gripes that I have. Um, apparently you're supposed to hold the shield just on his right side his fist doesn't really go through this second loop so which is kind of weird because you know someone brought to my attention that um, you know Cap always holds his shield on his left side so it does fit on his right more so but you can have it set up so that you know he's it goes like that and then it looks like he's holding it just fine you know you just mess with it and it'll work like that too uh, the wrists actually couldn't move so I used Solid Snake's tip of putting them in the freezer for about 20 minutes and then running them under hot water and then they just, you know, it just works like magic they, and they just loosen right up perfectly. Which is really funny is I put it in the freezer and when it was time to take them out, I opened up the freezer and I saw Cap all frosted over and I actually hella geeked out. I was like, oh cool! <laughs> I felt hella stupid, but I was like, oh, damn, Cap's all frozen in ice. That's, that's hella sick. Anyway, he's got this diaphragm joint right here, and it actually doesn't move forward so much, but it shifts back and forward. It's kind of weird, but it moves side to side very well, so that's cool. He has these really cool ball joints on the hips, which, um, you know, with other figures haven't worked so well, but on this Captain America figure, it works great. So the ball joints work really well, and the thigh swivels up at the top very nicely, so that's cool. He's got double jointed knees, his ankle moves side to side, and up and down. The shield looks 
fantastic. I really like how this came out. I love how you could see all the silver underneath. I like the choice of silver right here. This just the shiny paint apps are just great and I love the detail on the buckles and everything. A lot of really good detail underneath the shield, which is just very very cool to see. You can see they have that brown wash paint. Very very nice. It also comes with this base which uh, is supposed to connect to the select red skull and there's the cosmic cube right there which I think is neat I just ugh, it won't come out so I was just hoping that you could lift this up but I really like the paint applications on this very very cool looking it's got this glowing effect going on so you know that's a cosmic cube in there very neat and I don't know exactly how this is supposed to connect together but I'll wait till I get the red skull so I can you know put it together and I'll figure it out then now if you're trying to build your movie Avengers display with these Marvel Selects, it's not going to happen. Um, Thor and Cap are just about the same height. Actually, Cap's helmet goes just a little bit higher than Thor's head. Um, they look exactly the same height on camera, but, you know, it's just not going to work. And I don't have the movie Iron Man Select figure, but, um, yeah, you can't you can't really do that. So I pick up these selects to pair them off with their main villain, which is pretty cool. And here he is compared to the face-off Captain America figure, the Marvel Legends face-off cap, so you can see how how much bigger the select figure is. So yeah, that's my review of this Marvel Select Captain America. Really, really like it a lot. I definitely recommend you get him. Very, very cool figure. Just really, really awesome. I'm really, really stoked about it. So glad I got him. Cost about 20 bucks, but definitely worth every penny. All right, hope you guys dig my review. I'll catch you later. Peace.